Sativo here from Thunderbus Lure Company. So glad to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderbus Fishing Tips. I am out here fishing the eastern basin of Lake Erie. I'm off a of windmill point and today folks we brought a bucket full of minnows and I've rigged myself up with a T-turn bait rig. The one I'm using right now is the one we're looking for perch. So I got the perch rig number 1A uh, or if you want the one with gold hooks there's 1A6G and what we did is we come up to the point and we just started drifting because we're marking fish but they're scattered now this doesn't feel to be a perch it's the first fish of the day and he's got some weight to him folks so I think I'm gonna need my uh, I might need my net so we're out here for perch <laughs> unless this is the world's largest perch it's a nice walleye folks I need the net I need the net that's a beautiful walleye Oh yeah, turn bait rig walleye, folks. And he's in the bag. Okay, now that's a bonus fish for me. That is one bonus fish right there, folks. Wowzer. On my little, on my little perch, T-turn perch rig. Hey, that's a nice chunky walleye right there. That's a beautiful Lake Erie walleye. He came out of, let's take a look here, 54 feet of water. 54 feet of water. Here I am, it's the month of May. It's the, it's the middle of May. And the water temperature is actually 39, 40 degrees. It's still very cold. And I come out here for perch. So, first drift, bonus walleye. You gotta love that. Okay, he's gonna go right in the box because that is a pure bonus. I'll put him in. Live well's not even set up yet, folks. We just started drifting here. Okay, we're gonna get that set up. And I gotta get my rig back out there again. See if we can find some perch, but if not, I'm, I'm happy to catch walleye. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now re-rigged up. I've got two, two nice lively minnows on there. And this is, like I say, the perch rig. And the T-turn bait rig allows those minnows to swim around freely and attract the fish. No line twists, no tangles. That's what I love about the rigs. But the walleye rig is actually number 2A. I didn't bring any 2As with me today. I only brought the 1As, which is the, the perch rig. But the hooks are still big enough for walleye. Uh, in case I do get into another one, but uh, so what I've done we drifted and now that I caught that fish tighten up on my drag What I'm gonna do I just dropped the anchor So we're gonna anchor here for a little bit because where there's one there's more and maybe perhaps where the walleye He might have been feeding on some perch. So there might be some perch around here So I'm gonna anchor here for about oh five ten minutes Maybe 15 if there's nothing doing I'll lift the anchor and we'll drift some more and see if we can get in some more fish and whack 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 and i think we got our first perch of the day folks it doesn't feel like that walleye that's for sure it feels decent now i'm just running my light i've got a light action rod it's about five and a half foot and you can see it's got a nice bend to it and that's all you need for light action oh look at this folks there we go there we go there's a double t-turn rate bait rate right there two nice oh this one's hooked in the side a bit okay let's get this one out hey there's a nice chunky Lake Erie perch right there folks nice little double header okay we're gonna put him down Get this one off the hook and rebait. Okay, re-rigged, folks. Now what I've done is I've anchored here, and I'm gonna cast it out a bit and then work my line back towards the boat. Oh, those birds saw my minnows. <laughs> they want my minnows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna stay anchored in this area because I'm hoping there's more perch, and uh, and I'm just gonna work the area ever so slowly. I'm running 10-pound test braid. Be, it's so so thin that braided line and because I'm fishing so deep I'm in uh, I've drifted into 50 feet here now I'm just yeah 50 51 feet but because I'm fishing so deep I want that no stretch 
to allow me to feel the bite and to also set the hook. And you don't need like a big hook set when you're uh, when you're using braid, nor do you need it when you're fishing for perch. But I'm just gonna work my line back towards me here and see if I can get into another perch or two. But I mean, the walleye was a good start. Now those couple of nice perch. So there's fish holding in this area and that's the key. So I'm gonna slowly work those minnows back towards me and see if I can trigger another bite. I can oh I should have pulled there we go there we go so that one folks followed it all the way back to the boat feels like another nice fish and you see what I'm talking about the bend in the rod all you need is a light action rod for these little fish you don't need a lot of backbone for hook setting power okay so we might be getting in some perch here folks Oh, that's another nice, that's a nice Lake Erie perch right there. Decent sized perch. And he just took that minnow right in. Right in. And that's what I like about these hooks on these rigs, folk. They're a, they're a long shanked hook. You see that long shank? And that allows me to take the hook out of the fish's mouth very, very easily. So uh, that's a decent perch. That's a keeper perch. I throw him in. And it looks like my bottom bait was taken or my top bait was taken so I'm gonna have to re-rig with a couple more minnows it's okay we got lots of minnows today folks and we're gonna cast it right back out there again and use the exact same technique oh there we go that was a good bite I, I felt just a little that's the thing with the braided line of course I'm running a fluorocarbon leader folks that goes without saying and the t-turn bait rig also is pre-rigged with fluorocarbon line but my main line being the braid, I felt absolutely everything. Could feel that bite. I felt a little, just a little nibble first, and then he gave me a nice bite. And that's when I set the hook. Oh, that's a better fish, folks. Oh yeah, that's a nicer fish there. Look at that one, folks. Look at that, for, that's a Lake Erie Jumbo right there. When you can lip lock them like that, you know you've got yourself a nice perch. Look at that love it and you know what folks these are real real tasty in fact we got a little recipe Antonio and I did a little cook off one day with a simple perch cooking episode and I'll put a link here for you if you want to check it out a couple of simple ways to fry up uh, some perch but uh, I think the system is working folks the drifting until you find the fish and then you find some active fish then you start to anchor I get that hook in there. Uh, I'm gonna change up that bottom hook too. Put a fresh, lively minnow on there. Now, <laughs> this is the other thing. That casting and towards you folks, the other thing it does, if there's fish in the area, they see the minnows moving this way and you're attracting the fish towards your boat. And that's, I think, what I'm doing right now, folks, is I'm attracting these perch and they're coming towards me, right towards the boat. This one hit down below. Oh, it's another nice perch. Oh, that's another nice perch, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Another lip locker. <laughs> another, another lip locker. Look at that. That's another nice Lake Erie perch. He looked, he did a number on that minnow. Just mangled it. So I'm going to put another fresh one on. In fact, we also have a, a video. There's many different ways you could rig your minnows, folks. And I actually, I'll, I'll put a link here in the description for you as I have a video that shows a variety of different ways to rig up uh, rig up your minnows. Okay, and right now, I'm putting mine right through the lips and through the head, just like that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same technique, folks. I'm gonna cast it out and work my way. There's a minnow, put him back in the water. I'm gonna work my way right back towards the boat see if I could trigger another bite but so far those last two jumbles came right here right at the boat okay I'm loving this folks this is great fishing pan fishing for perch love it <laughs> this is oh, oh boy folks am I loving this today oh and I'll tell you like I mentioned earlier about the cook and the these perch are just especially out of this cold water they're gonna be absolutely tasty 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 fish and Another nice perch. Okay, not near as big as those last ones. 
still a nice perch nonetheless and oh I don't know about those minnows this one looks like well you know what we'll try a cast and see actually I'm gonna drop this one straight down I just want to see if those minnows that aren't so lively if they're gonna catch me a fish because they're still rather fresh I'm just gonna drop it straight down as opposed to casting this time and because they're not as fresh what I'm gonna do folks I'm gonna put it down there and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna lift my line up and then I'm gonna put it back down so I'm basically I'm kind of jigging that minnow just to keep it moving and see if that might attract uh, attract the bite now if it doesn't I'm gonna do this all for about a minute or two if it doesn't I'm gonna change those baits and put some lively ones on but this is a nice little nice little trick to do if your minnows are not lively oh yeah he's on, he's on. I was just gonna say what I did is I just rigged up with some small minnows I want to see if there's a difference between using the smaller minnow or the bigger minnow. Now these ones, I put two smaller minnows on there and it produced a nice bite. Now I don't know, he doesn't feel as heavy though. And in fact he's not, look at that. So those smaller, smaller minnows actually produced a smaller perch. Okay, so now we're gonna change the strategy a bit. And I'm gonna grab, let's get a couple of bigger minnows. Look at the size of that one. Okay, I'm gonna, that minnow. Okay, I'm gonna put on some bigger minnows now and see what the difference is in the bite, if anything. Okay, I've got two nice size minnows on there now. These ones I'm gonna, I'm gonna say are large size minnows. So we're gonna cast it out, let it get down 50 feet. It takes a bit. I've got a three quarter ounce sinker on there. And then I'm gonna slowly work it back and see if that produces a different bite. Okay, just working it back to the boat. So far, no bites on those larger minnows. So I'm right back at the boat here now. And just keep moving it a bit. Oh, there's a bite. That was a bite. That was a bite, folks. Oh. There, oh, that's a better bite. Oh, that means the bigger minnow produced a bigger fish, I don't know. Or maybe I got another double. That was a nice bite. Different bite on those bigger minnows. Let's see. Oh, that's a nicer fish. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Look at that. There's another nice, it's another nice lip lock fish right there, folks. And there's my minnow. And there's another minnow in his mouth. So they are, because there's my other line, they must just be gorging themselves on minnows. And he actually inhaled that. So I'm just gonna get the needle nose to get it out. But there's a little experiment. The bigger minnows produced the bigger fish. It must be a, I don't know. It doesn't feel like a fish though. <laughs> Maybe it's a, unless it's a walleye. Oh, it's a fish. It's a fish. Oh, because he's hooked just, on the bottom fin that's why it felt didn't I didn't feel a bite and I didn't feel the fish <laughs> that's why <laughs> because he was hooked just under the fin all right we'll cast it back out and we're going to try that again perch have got to be one of the most sought after freshwater fish between the perch and the walleye and I think it's for the mainly for the table fare but also for the fun but it's amazing these perch you catch them People target them all winter long, ice fishing, open water. They're just so much fun to catch and so tasty. And I think that's why between the perch and the walleye, they gotta be the top two freshwater fish. Oh, it's another nice one, folks. These are almost, you know what, folks? These perch are almost net worthy. They're almost net worthy. That's a nice, that's another nice chunky Lake Erie jumbo perch. The live well is looking mighty, mighty fine. Yeah, I'm gonna freshen that up. And there we go. Oh, the concentration paid off. <laughs> oh, the concentration. You know, but I mentioned line earlier. Your rig makes a difference, your line makes a difference. Yeah, I mentioned I'm running the fluorocarbon, and of course the rig has fluorocarbon. 
mono is perfectly fine as well but you know what if you've got those line those fluorescent colored line lines stay away from them because oh it looks like i got the cameraman's line here too stay away from those floor fluorescent colored lines because those the fish can see those lines and they basically turn the fish off but the fluorocarbon line and the and the t-turn bait rig are definitely doing it today just a solid solid bite and you know i mentioned about the braided line as my main leader line if the bites weren't so solid oh i got another double folks i got another double i got a keeper and a throwback a keeper and a throwback look at that that's nice but if the bites weren't so if they were subtle that yeah, that's a nice chunk that braided line it, i think it's really helping make a difference today some of the bites are strong but some not so much actually that's not a bad size perch but we're gonna put him back okay time to rebait up this is just <laughs> folks this is just so much fun i'm loving it out here like the not so lively minnows have struck i left it in there for another 30 seconds and that little technique has triggered myself a nice bite and hopefully a nice perch Let's see what we got in here folks boy this is really fun with this light light action rod oh it looks like another nice perch folks oh yeah that's another nice jumbo perch right there lake Erie jumbos so keeping that bait oh look at this he's coughing up minnows look at that folks can you see that in there he's coughing up minnows so they're obviously feeding heavily on minnows down there right now but isn't that a nice that's a nice chunky that's just a nice size perch right there that's a nice little eater and you know what folks freshen up this bait now speaking of eater i think between that walleye and those perch i've already got myself a fantastic meal but you know what you've got to give perch fishing a try it's relaxing it's rewarding and you could end up with a nice tasty meal Folks, wherever you're tuning in from today, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. This really is good fishing.